Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. Evil space monsters attacked, and it was up to Piori Nijino to transform into an enormous hero and fight them off. Dwatch! This planet is protected by Pristraman! Fight on, Pristraman! Who cares about all the innocent civilians you're stomping on? <laughs> Look at these pathetic humans! It's time to conquer! Wait, that's not right! Hurry, Pristraman! Your instant ramen is almost ready! Ugh, I can't let the noodles get all soggy! My precious, richly thick, lingering sauce would turn it into the mushiest of messes! Will Pristraman be able to save her precious instant noodles? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus, a new story begins. These stories are fucking crazy as all hell. Anyways, what's up? Joker Gibson here. We back with some more. This guy is six. So let's go, you demons. Let's go to the magical world so close. of Marjolaine. No longer and we would have won. Damn it. Only this piece of junk body of mine worked. Maybe you need to switch up your body, bro. Down, Prince said. We can still rise above. La 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 with the power of love. I don't believe okay. in that crap. Love story arc aside, we've definitely come a long way. We almost had it. Indeed. Ah, yes, indeed. And let us not forget that we also have super reincarnation on our side. We will succeed someday. Someday we shall succeed. Worry not, Zed. We have all grown stronger on this journey. That's oh, not your the turn. The fact that super reincarnation has returned us to my world, the school of magic, must mean it's my turn. Indeed. Well, I don't want to wait too long. Hurry up and get stronger already. I fully intend to. However. Something about this world feels off. Whatever could you mean? Episode 9 Tragedies Refrain. Bum, 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 bum. What is the vice principal going to be your enemy? Marjolaine? Is that, is that what's going to happen? No one to talk to? Great. Oh, hey, quests. This is the quest shop. We got some new quests. I need an emblem. Here. It's all you. Here. Here. It's all you. Here. It's all you. Here. It's all you. It's all you now. Oh, hell to the night. I ain't using those emblems. Better give me a different emblem. Glasses. Great job. Shit. Great job. Great job. Face versus weapons. What is this? Oh, martial artist. Okay. I'm counting on you. This is the quest shop. Oh. I don't know why I did I'm that. I'm counting on you. Can't use it because I don't want to get rid of them emblems, son. I need new emblem. Where do you wish to go? To the magic. Wait, past. We went to the past, bruh. Is it like before we met Marjolaine? Is that is that what it means by going to the past? Mesra? And what was that about a test? No, it couldn't be. Did we really come to the past? This is the day. The day what? She failed? What? Reincarnating into the past? Is that even possible? Apparently so. Super reincarnation sends you on the most expedient path to accomplish your goal. 
regardless of time or dimension. Oh no! I won't make it at this rate! I've got a super duper dash! W wait, La Misra! You mustn't go to the testing site! If you take the test, you. You what? I'm not quite sure what's going on, but you want us to stop this girl, yes? Then leave it to me! With the power of money! Yeah, little missy. Why don't you come join me for a while? I'll give you some spending money! Yo, it sounds like you're about to, you know, smash Your Majesty, her. Bro. It sounds like you are about to commit a crime! Exactly! <laughs> That's not what I meant. You know how you look. It, it seems that's how you meant. Now we're going to face security. Are you intruders aware of the heinous act you're committing against a student of the Magimage School of Magic? Another me? Well, you're in the past. Hmm. Well, this is your past, so it makes sense that there be two of you. Exactly. Come, familiars. Repel these intruders. Don't let them lay a single finger on our students. Wait! Allow us to explain. It might be difficult to believe, but I am also Majoline, principal of the Maji Mage School of Magic. Ha! Poppycock! I, Marjoline, witch of the abyss, would never be caught dead in such a shameless outfit. Huh. Uh, but you see, you kinda do end up doing that, so... Two Marjolines? I'm so confused. My rotten brain's about to pop! Is that why you wear that? I must be on my way to the testing site. I shall leave these miscreants to you. Is that why you wear that hoodie, Zed? And have your hood up? Because you have a big old hole in the back of your head. Beginning experiment! Witness the Witch of the Abyss! Saying all that. Is it my cat girl? My little thief? Is that, what, is that who's saying that? Sounds like a wuss. Oh no, it's those minotaur looking chicks. Hello, it's me. Beginning experiment. Time to sing. Oh, please don't sing. <laughs> Money, money, money makes the world go round. I don't have time for this. I have to hurry up and stop La Misra. Um, Majeline, what exactly is going to happen today? 
If there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it! As defenders of justice! That child, Lamisra, used to be one of my students. I figured she's that. A bit of a klutz. She is kind and earnest. The spitting image of the magical girls I admired as a child. She's abysmally bad at summoning spells, you see. And because of that, she was teased by her classmates. However, the Mizra worked hard and never gave up. She often stayed after school, practicing her spells. Mm -hmm. Then, on the day of the test, La Mizra cast a remarkable summoning spell. But... But it killed her? What happened? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're going to say? The dragon she summoned ate her. It was a terrible loss of life. Oh my, even you have tragic endings woven into the tapestry of your tale. Oh, always her. That's why we have to stop the Misra before that happens. Or you can let it summon and then kill the dragon. Isn't possible. One cannot change the past. Not even super reincarnation is that powerful. Are, are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies, fate will change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. Service, were you pulling a Steins Gate? Is that what you're doing? What are you talking about, Prism Pup? Destiny is something to take by the hand. For justice, we can't give up. She's right. With our powers combined, la la la, fate can surely be untwined. Even the god of fate would come around with a sufficient bribe. <laughs> I don't know if right. fate would do that. Surely we ought to be able to change fate if we all work together. I'm saying you should go to the class, let us summon, and then kill the dragon. Let's do this! No matter what, we will save La Misra. That's the spirit. Who the hell would allow their future to be decided by something as dumb as fate? If you don't like your destiny, then tear it to shreds and make your own. I mean, if you don't like fate, then surely you must like karma. Change destiny. Hmm. I too once believed that was possible. However, no matter how hard you try, destiny cannot be altered. That is precisely why. What happened to you, Cerberus? I must know. I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, Cerberus, cause I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, Cerberus, cause I need to know. There you are. Great job. Then there's those two. We got some new quests. Here. It's all you now. 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 And great job. Done. I'm counting on you. Alright, Marjolaine, let's see what you gotta say. Every one of the students at a Magic Mage School of Magic is precious to me. But Lamisa. What the fuck? Lamisra is special. She's not simply because she lost her life there. Not and not simply because she lost her life here. She was also she was also that which I've always admired. Joyful, radiant, just like the magical girls of my childhood. We'll save her prismagical. No matter what, after all, this girl is important to you. You can expect I'll be slipping the god of fate plenty of bills under the table. A tragic end for you, Marjoline, is just as much one for me. There's gotta be some reason we came back to this world. We'll do whatever we have to, alright? Thank you, all of you. Le Miserable will not die today. I'll make sure of that. You know what? 
I just thought about it. What, um... Just wait and see. I'll show this blasted destiny what for. What if we do save her from the dragon, but she dies from the god of destruction? Dude, that would be a fucking low blow right there. <laughs> I must say, it was quite a surprise to learn that we all, uh, traveled back to the past. An experience like this is one of the few things money can't buy. Wait, if we can turn back the clock whenever we want, then... I could stop Noboru from sacrificing himself for me. And I could help all my previous princes escape the jaws of death. Huh, these guys have all lost the people they care about along the way, just like me. If even I can be granted this chance, sur surely the same can be done for all of you. And should the time arrive, I, Miz uh, Mesidor, because I forgot how to pronounce the name, shall provide you my fullest support. With what, your pocketbook? I don't think Destiny's taking bribes. Then the Hero King will take to the sword it's instead. Together we shall cut the purse string of our fates. We'll not stand idly by by those we care for are lost. Follow me, please. Now going back to the past and the wisdom ways of old. Let's see what happens now. You intruders are awfully tenacious. Why are you still wandering around our campus? Because we got a job then to do, lady. It ends here. Our students have a very important test today. I won't let you go any further. That test is precisely the problem, you thick-headed old hag. You called yourself Don't a thick-headed old hag. thick-headed old hag is your past self. Exactly. What the fuck, girl? Cancel the test. Don't be preposterous. Why don't you tell her what's going to happen? There's no way I can possibly let all the hard work and effort of our students go to waste. While I wholeheartedly agree with your sentiment, just hurry up and cancel it already. If you don't say why, why would no she do it? Cancellation. Ugh, to think that I used to be such an inflexible, stubborn old hag. If you proceed with the tests, something terrible is going to happen to Lemisra. Lemisra? Oh, cut the malarkey already. Now, familiars, this time make sure you remove these intruders. <laughs> Won't even listen to yourself. You really are a stubborn old hag. Right? That's right. I'm just a stubborn old hag. Happy now? Indeed. Yes. Thank you. Oh shit. Come on. Let's go, guys. Can we not use our special fix? Probably can't use Wits either, huh? Punks ain't got nothing. Hello, it's me. Punks ain't nothing. Nope, 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 nope. Punks ain't nothing. Nope, 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 nope. I can't take much more of this. I'll leave me your strength. Here's your signal. Where are you looking at? 
sleep for regrets. Why are you only hitting one? Why don't you hit both of them? Apologies, everyone. My past self is just too inflexible. While she definitely does seem to lack flexibility, it seems like it's all due to her love for her students. Are you sure? Yeah. It's just the love for her students. Magical's an educator of justice, giving it her all for the sake of the children. No, I'm simply an insecure teacher. One only concerned about appearances. Since I was a child, I've either held back or overextended myself, trying to live up to the expectations of my stern parents. Getting into a top school, graduating as valedictorian, and landing a prestigious career were all part of the plan for me. Mm -hmm. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to play with friends, find love, and live the life of a normal girl. However, I never stopped hiding my true self. I always pretended to be the perfect me, which got me this far. And that perfect me became the Witch of the Abyss, Principal Majoline of the Magi Mage School of Magic. However, it seemed as though Lemisra could see right through my facade. She told me to be more honest with myself, that I deserved a break from perfection. Perfection. Then, don't you think she'd be happy to see you the way you are now? Yeah, tell her only something that only she knows. So? Only her and you. Well, why not? I mean, the current you is a hell of a lot more lively than the old you, you know. That's why do you not sound true. so low, Zed? Having to stay in this shameless magical girl form has been an utter nightmare. Has it though? Really? Sure seems like you're having a blast to me. Yeah. Oh. Well. Come on, admit it. You like it. Damn fucking events. I'm tired of events, man. I'm a hell of a lot more lively now. Balderdash. Not in, in 10,000 years. Having to stay in this outrageous getup has been nothing but a living hell for me. Oh yeah? What were you posing in front of the mirror for then? Uh, how did you... I've spied in... I spied a similar sight myself. I do believe she was practicing her winking. If I recall correctly, she said something to the effect of... <clears throat> Don't go falling for me, Kay. But... <laughs> blatant falsehoods. <laughs> I never uh, say some. I never say anything of the sort. Now that I think about it, your sleep talking has been real weird lately too. You keep saying things like uh, Maggie Mage style, Maggie Mage Grace, Mag Magi Mage Power in your face. Oh. Oh, was that a reference to Mew Mew? Uh, well, how did it go? Mew Mew style, Mew Mew grace, Mew Mew power in your face. Yeah, that was a fucking reference. Oh, dude. I'm surprised I even remembered about the Mew Mews. I, you, that was just... And weren't you just running your hand on your skin, giggling up a storm? Something about it being so plump and moisturized? T tricks of the mind. Everything you've seen is nothing more than a hallucination. Called it. Got that auto play on lock. Where do you wish oh, to yeah. go? I wish to go to the exam room, please. Last up is La Misra. Lemisra, I know all too well how hard you've been working to overcome your previous failings with summoning spells. I can't go easy when it comes to grading, 
But don't worry. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll pass. Right. She'll pass with, the, with her life. I'll meet or exceed your expectations, Principal Moduline. What was that? What just happened? Did she summon the dragon? She summoned the dragon. Dragon, dragon, fight the dragon, summon that bitch. What? You summoned a dragon for an elementary summoning exam? And a great dragon at that. Only advanced spells are capable of such a feat. <laughs> what do you think, ma'am? See, I was trying to surprise you and... Uh... Oh, that's how she dies. She gets so, so caught up on her bullshit. The dragon began to rampage. Its unbridled rage could not be controlled. You fool! There's no way a student of your grade could control such a high-level dragon. But I just wanted to live up to your expectations. Don't lose focus. The dragon is about to strike. See, that's how she died. She lost focus. The dragon bared its large fangs, getting ready to attack Lemuria. Was looking at certain. Hey, Mizra! Transform! Magical girl, magnificent Magdalene is on the scene. Why? Why did you do that? sequence is so mortifying but Mithra's life is more important then why don't you just go and save her you just who are you she is you it's from the future wait. I will save La Misra. destiny be damned then more fighting less talking yo kill that I dragon Hello, it's me. I'll allow it. That barely touches HP. I barely touch his HP, bro. Oh, is that because I had to have level like Matt? Like Amy level uh plus twenty stars? Hello, it's me. Here's your sick. Wouldn't it be? Okay, we killed the dragon. Now where's the Lord of Destruction? We did it! The dragon has been defeated! Ba -ba -bum. Yes! We overcame fate and looked magnificent doing it as defenders of justice! Lemisra, are you alright? Um, are you... Miss Majoline? Yes! Well, yes. I became a magical girl and returned here from the future. You've gotten quite a bit younger, but you definitely seem to be Principal Majoline. That means 
You're me. And I'm I'm you. Damn straight. Th this can't be true. I must be dreaming or something. You wish. Oh, she fainted. She can enter the Audi and passed out. Rip. <laughs> yeah, rip. Technically, she didn't go back Perhaps. to the past to save you. Not exactly serve as a proper role model for the students looking like this. Uh, that's not true. You look really cute, ma'am. Cute? You shouldn't go around teasing a ten thousand year old woman, you know. <laughs> oh my, Magdalene! Look how you're blushing. You're so adorable. <laughs> well, Cerberus. See? We tore that stupid fate a new one. No. It's impossible to change fate. Huh? What do you mean? So how is she gonna die now? Ah! Wait, the dragon came back? Uh, Lamesera. Lamesera! How'd the dragon come back? Those who are destined to die cannot escape death, no matter what. The wheels of fate never stray. They simply continue turning without mercy nor hesitation. It's unfortunate, but nobody can defy destiny. That fucking blows. That really fucking blows. Like, I thought we killed the dragon. But Mizra, how could this happen? Why did things turn out the same? I told you, didn't I? Fate cannot be changed, full stop. Like hell it can't. You think we're just gonna stick, uh, sit down and buy that crap? That's right, with our powers combined, destiny doesn't stand a chance. My thoughts exactly. I refuse to let this tragic ending stand. If proof is what you want, you need to look no further than what just happened. Ugh. I too had someone I wished to save. I gave my all struggling for that very purpose. But in the end, the result was no different from what we saw here. Destiny could not change. And I cannot save her from fate's cruel design. Gah, La Misera. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. I have to. Here's the thought. If destiny can't be changed, could you, uh... Follow me, please. Take that person to the future? Since we're in the past? That's my question. La Misera! La Misera! Why? We saved her! How can this be? This is the most tragic ending I've ever seen! You should have broke that one out into song. The hell's up with this? We already finished off that dragon! How'd it revive? That's my question. It's the power of fate. Not even super reincarnation, potent as it is, can interfere with it. No. I wanted to save her this time. I was certain I could do it. But yet again, I was unable to prevent La Misera from suffering such a merciless death. I... I... Watch out! The dragon is about to attack us! Something's wrong with Modeline. Your Majesty, Peori, we'll have to hold it off ourselves. Not even gonna add Roger Zed to that name, that was? To me. All right, I'll show you the power of bribery. 
That dragon's not gonna take your money, he'll take your life though. I'm so powerless. A hopeless fool who can't even protect what's truly important to her. Mm-hmm. How long Keep are you gonna sulk there like that? Come on, get up and fight. Leave me be. I've lost my will to fight. So you're just gonna give up after only one or two failures? No matter how hard I try, the results won't change. If I cannot defy fate, I may as well just join La Misera in. Death? <laughs> yeah, dying would definitely be easier, huh? Tell me. Was it all just talk when you were going on and on about wanting to protect your precious students? He's got a point. <laughs> you were expecting to change fate with so little resolve? Don't make me laugh. Silence! As if you could ever possibly understand how I feel. Um, he lost his sister. Right. I don't understand. I don't understand why someone would punk out and accept the unacceptable. But you know what? I don't want to. I absolutely refuse to give in. I'll get back up as many times as I need to and keep fighting. After all, that's the only way I can ever save Biko. Save Biko? What are you talking about? I thought you said your sister was killed by the God of Destruction. Biko wasn't killed by the God of Destruction. Biko is the God of Destruction. Oh, shit! Didn't I call that in the last video? Because how he was acting? No, I didn't say that she became the God of Destruction. I said she was absorbed by the God of Destruction. Does that technically mean the same thing? Or consider it the same thing? Drop. That's crazy. I wonder how the Overlord's gonna take that. Like, oh no! Pico became the God of Destruction? So you killed your sister? Hello? It's me. Hello? It's your Sorry, I had, a, I had a drink, a drink. My throat was a little dry. Biko! So how does that look like Biko? That's my question. How does that look like Biko at all? Like, what the hell? Because that does not look like Biko whatsoever. It's me! It's Bobby! Don't you recognize me, Biko? How? How did she end up like this? How did she end up looking like a man? Just you wait. Bubby's gonna save you in a jiffy, got it? Huh. Maybe that's why he's always after Zed. Because I noticed that 
every time and no matter where he's after Zed. So the fact that we now know it's Pico, it's it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense now. I can't give up. I promised I'd protect her. I won't give up. I swear. Give up or not, like your promise case, is bullshit. You must seek power, Zed. Cerberus. In order for a weak zombie like you to defeat the strongest god of destruction. Super Reincarnation is your only option. Through Super Reincarnation, you will gain the power to achieve your desire, no matter how many times you die trying. However, it's a path of pure carnage. You'll have to endure tens of thousands of deaths. Are you willing to do that? Obviously. I don't know what that all means. If I can save Biko, I'll do it. No matter what it takes. I don't care what happens to me. So give me the power I need to save Biko from her suffering. As you wish. Alright, let's see what they gotta say. Nope, it's not Marjoline. It's you. Because the god of destruction? How can this be? All this time you've been fighting Zed. You've been shouldering this agony all on your own. Tell me, how can I be of aid? Isn't there some way you can turn Biko back to how she was? Not with money, that's for sure. I'll do anything, anything at all if Biko wants. I'll I'll even let you be Prism Red, temporarily. If it will give you strength, Zed, I'll transform into a magical girl or anything you might need. I'll do whatever I can as well. Our happy ending has plenty of room for Biko, too. You guys, you really are something. Why bother getting all worked up over the problems of some rando? You are not just some rando, Prince said. You are my fiancé, remember? The multicolored threads of the Prism Red Rangers bind us together. Triv... Hold on, I'm gonna have to turn that one off. Fiverality. Frivolity. I think it's frivolity. Aside, don't you think it's a bit too late to push us away, giving all we've been through together? I, for one, have seen enough tragic fates to last me a lifetime. Haven't you, Zed? Jeez, I knew it. You guys really are are all wackos. Appreciate the offer and all, but there's nothing we can do to save her. The best thing we could do for Biko is to bring all this to an end. Yow. Yowza. Means to kill her. Back to the past of the magic school girls. I swear if it's a dragon again, I'm gonna be pissed. Biko is the god of destruction? I can hardly believe it! Poor Zed. Poor Biko. <laughs> Is there any way to turn Biko back? I'll spare no expense! Unfortunately, no. Once one has reached her state, they can do little else than unleash utter destruction till they die. Oh, is the god of destruction? Yep. Why is the god of destruction here? This is supposed to be the past. Hmm. Perhaps Zed and Biko's feelings resonated during the last super reincarnation, which brought it here and now. What? Wait a minute. Zed and Biko's feelings. Well, she loves her bubby. Does that mean that the god of destruction, that Biko, is conscious of her actions? Correct. Though she's physically dead since her body was absorbed into the god of destruction. Oh, I called it absorbed. Biko is still conscious. B but then that means. Yeah. Every time she went on a rampage, Biko, kind as she was. 
killed me. It's been tens of thousands of times. I can't think of anything that would cause her more suffering. So, I've got to stop Biko. Stop that thing for her sake. Zed, I had no idea you were carrying around so much pain and sadness. Well, now you do. And you're absolutely right. After hearing a story like that, I can't give up after only a few failures. Damn you're straight you can't. I need to keep fighting until I'm able to change fate, correct? Correct. My word. That's a rather tall order to give someone my age. But said, you do realize you're heading for a grisly death? So? <laughs> of course I do. Besides, the way I'm gonna kick it is already set in stone. All right, I've got my resolve back. I'll find a way to change the past and fate. Someday, I will save La Misera. So, transform! Magical girl, magnificent Magellan is on the scene! Twirl! Whoa! I'm getting a stronger surge of magic power than ever before! Zed. Zed. Who the fuck is that? Huh? You're that voice from before. Stop him. The only one who can stop him is you. Him? The only one I'm here to stop is Pico. And I don't need to be told to do that by anyone. Huh? Zed? What's the matter? This is no time to be spacing out. If she's telling me to stop Cerberus, then that'd be interesting. I'm gonna put an end to it this time. Hello, it's me. Kill him. Kill him for all sakes. Someone's going like crazy. I'm hungry. Did we kill him for good? Even I'm rather surprised to see that we may actually defeat it. But if we do, we go. That's right. If she really is the god of destruction, we'll be taking her down too. That's not your problem. Just focus on beating it. Prince said, are you really okay with that? Why are you hesitating, Zed? Wasn't putting Biko to rest what you truly desired? I feel like I gotta stop Cerberus. Of course it is! I'm gonna do it! Just you watch! Oh, shit! She was trying to say, Bubby! Or, he, that... Creature, Rico? the god of destruction. 
Zed, look out! Oh, of course. You hesitated at the very last moment, didn't you, Zed? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why did I hesitate? Why couldn't I lay Biko to rest? I could see that she was suffering. Is that all the resolve I've got? Why did I bother coming this far? Damn it! What was I thinking? What were you thinking, Zed? Why don't you tell me how your rotten brain was thinking? I'm sorry. Zed has died once more. Game over. And thus, because we hesitated upon hearing Biko's voice, we fell to the God of Destruction. That concludes the testimony of Majoline. Which of the Abyss? <laughs> to think that the God of Destruction's true identity was actually Biko all along. Why don't you just tear my heart out? She must have felt so much pain. She must have felt so much sorrow. I... I... <sighs> Are you crying again? Who wouldn't be brought to tears after hearing this? However, compared to how you must feel, Zed, this is no time for me to cry. Well, indeed. has this convinced you to believe us? No, because the, the <laughs> God of Destruction's not dead. Why, I believed you all along. No, you didn't. Zed, from the very beginning, the great overlord Ivar could tell that you were no ordinary. Sure. Oh, bullshit. That's what I'm now, thinking. Come, let us hear the conclusion of your story. Uh, of course, you did end up saving Biko, didn't you? Damn, my fucking stomach is growling, uh, dude. I... Zed, I'm sure it would be too painful for you to tell the rest yourself. For the finale to our story, I shall be the one to testify. I really feel like I have to stop Cerberus. I don't know why. Indomitable spirit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all you wonderful demons out there, if you happen to like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Let's tackle this game as well as many others, past, present, and future together. So, as always... Have a good morning, have a good night, have a good whatever time frame you are on, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye now.